Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and that is a great millstone. And salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad. Shalom. And check this out. Fibers was arrested Friday night in Myrtle Beach for an incident that happened prior to the kidnapping. According to online bookings, Latavia Washington McGee was arrested and charged with contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Arrest warrants we got show McGee's child went to an unnamed loc location to find another child in February, but was removed from that location by family members. Police arrested McGee after they say she took her child back to the location and began fighting with the victim and her family. McGee was part of a group that was kidnapped when they traveled to Mexico in March for what the group said was a cosmetic procedure. Eric Williams also survived the kidnapping. Zindel Brown and Shahid Woodard were both killed. All four are Lake City natives. The group was found at a wooden shack and taken back to the United States. We have more about the kidnapping online right now at WBTW.com. So this demon, you know, the... You know, Yahweh Ba Shimmy Yahweh Shai, they're, they're um, you know, merciful power. You can powers. talk to me if you're feeling sad. Long suffering. You know, remember those uh, people that got killed over there in Mexico, and and and, and this woman, she the, she's the survivor. But before she went to Mexico, this is what she was doing. You know. And, you know, you'll have people look at what happened in Mexico and say, oh, man, uh, you know, that was, you know, that was messed up. And that's just judgment from the Lord, man. Because the Lord, the Lord is tired of you people. He's tired of, of, of Jake, the rebelliousness of, of our people. She was over here. You heard what the reporter said. She went, she took a, a, a kid and took him over there to go fight. She knowingly took the child over there to go fight. Now, now come on, man. Our people, they don't have no, no, no fear, no regard for anything. And then she went over there and got kidnapped. You know, and 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 yeah, it's just it's just our people don't they don't know when to stop. When you looked at the um, the Chicago, um, what happened in Chicago a couple of days ago, what uh, which was majority of our people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites, jumping on cars, looting, uh, just uh, uh, beating people up. The Lord is he go he he's about to get Jake, man. He about to get Jake. And you know, I've been saying that lately, cause <laughs> the Lord, he he about to get Jake, man. He about to he about to get his people. Okay, as 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 the left hand side is uh doing their thing, you know, right hand side doing their thing, prophecy moving forward. Well, one of the major prophecies is, is Jacob's trouble in which the Lord is going to give the so-called white man uh, the power to completely and utterly destroy two thirds of his own people here in America. All right. And, and the, the scriptures say uh, whoever perished being innocent. OK. This is Jeremiah 7 and 16. Therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up a cry nor a prayer for them. Our people are uh, uh, brute beasts. They act like animals. That was animalistic like behavior of, of, of our people here in Chicago. Over there in Chicago and in this woman right here. And then, then, you know, it's just like these people, it's, the Lord is, 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 is fair, man. He's merciful. Long suffering, compassionate. You know, even even to, to to all his people, to be honest, you know, the Lord, he don't have to he didn't have to do uh, what he did. 
for us and bringing us into this truth and you know and the woman actually survived the kidnapping she survived it you know just to to so you know the lord gives people a, a chance a wake up call and our people have ignored all the signs of of of, of uh you know of, of the lord saying uh stop You know, our people, they'll follow the stop sign. They'll stop at the stop sign, stop at the red light. But they won't stop with the wickedness. They won't. Until the Lord do something to them. And she saw those men uh, die. Okay, now, if, if she's supposed to change her life. Though these were drastic things that had, she seen. That woman, she was kidnapped and, and three other men uh, died. And she was the survivor. Then right after that, she was arrested for, for what she what she did. Now, is she going to repent? I don't know. But our people, they, 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 they go f too far. All right. It says, um, neither lift up a cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession for to me. For I will not hear thee because the Lord is he want to. He got, uh, the Lord got plans for the people that don't want to repent. He got different judgments lined up for him. And th th these are the people, these are, you know, Jake, man, they're gone. And you stay away from these niggas, man. Man, these women, all these niggas. Stay away from these niggas. <laughs> these niggas are worse. They act worse than Esau. Beasts. At least uh, Esau got some type of, uh, he's somewhat civilized right now to this point. But these niggas, are, these, these, Jake is, 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 is looking bad, man. And you can see it's just why the Lord gonna have to do this to his people. You, you, can, you can see it. Because our people, they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop on their own. They need to be stopped. They're supposed to be uh, the people that, that are being looked up to in the earth. They're rappers and, and you know, it just, it's just a bad, we got a bad look on us, man, as a, as a nation. But the Lord, he gonna clean, he's going to clean that up. And guess how one of the ways he's going to clean it up? It's going to be by death. Because our nation needs to get cleansed. It needs a, it needs a purge. The degenerates of our nation needs to be, they need to be purged. They got to go. And here in Jeremiah, it said, hey, when the Lord don't bug out when the Lord start killing these niggas, man. These niggas, these women, these men, they all yabbed up. They got all this poison in them. They they eating Skittles for dinner, and 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 drinking sodas every fucking day. <laughs> they brushing their teeth with the fluoride, you know. So they they. <laughs> Stay away. Stay far away. And you got to talk to these niggas. Keep it short and to the point. These are people are possessed with demons. This is the average. Uh, that was that was the average nigga woman. You know, they, our people they, they, they're animals, man. They are like animals. And I'm looking over, if a, if a jig is behind me, I'm looking over my shoulder, man. <laughs> boy, I tell you, boy, and I was, we were just talking about this at, at camp Saturday. Let me find the scripture, man. Uh... Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee. 
power. Hold on. Let me read this in the NLT. Job 4 and 7. Stop and think. Do the innocent die? When have the upright been destroyed? My experience shows that those who plant trouble and cultivate evil will harvest the same. Before that woman went on the trip, didn't she cultivate evil? Didn't she stir up shit? Well, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. It says a breath from God destroys them. They vanish in a blast of his anger. And that's what the Lord is about to do to two thirds of his people here in America. And Jake, uh, you uh, that are scattered all over the, uh, across the world. Y'all not, not exempt from the Lord's judgment. Now, I'm not saying that I'm righteous by any means. No. But I'm I'm trying. I'm, I, I've repented. I've come back to the Heavenly Father. And, and no, I'm not justifying myself. But our people, they, 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 they need to stop. They're not going to listen to us. The Lord said, <laughs> he said in Ezekiel, he told Ezekiel, they, this is a hard-hearted and stiff-necked people. They're not going to listen to you. They don't, they didn't need, Listen to me. So get, guess what's the next step? Guess I'm going to close out with this. Isaiah 1 and 2. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For Yahweh have spoken. I have nourished and brought up my brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox know of his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know. My people don't consider. Do not doth not consider. They don't consider. Jake don't care, man. Jake don't care. As long as Jake can smoke. Do drugs, drink, and, 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 and do whatever he want to do. He's he not concerned. A sinful nation and people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. Jake doesn't care. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They have gone away backwards. Why? Who? Let me read this in NLT verse 5. Why do you continue to invite punishment? Your head is injured and your heart is sick. You are battered from head to foot, covered with bruises, welts, and infected wounds without any soothing ointments or bandages. You, you do. So what is the next step? What is the next step? After the Lord, the Lord then uh, chastised you, all right. In this woman's case, she you she's been kidnapped, witnessed death. What, what, what's the next step? You've been arrested. That was Jake. You know, how, <laughs> boy, I tell you, boy, Jake just ain't gonna stop and think. Damn, you know, God trying to tell me something, and that's why the Lord he be taking a lot of Jakes out because they. They don't care. You got to repent, man. So you, you could be hid from that wrath. <sighs> uh, Lord willing is edifying. Shalom.